I'm Kat Timpf with National Review. An assistant professor in women's gender and sexuality studies at Yale University is claiming that Pete Buttigieg and his husband, Jason, are a, quote, vision of heterosexuality without straight people. What? Greta LaFleur made the comments in a piece analyzing Buttigieg and his husband on the recent Time magazine cover. At one point, she suggested that the apparent comfortability of the photo's, quote, whiteness basically makes it a heterosexual photo. Lefleur wrote, the argument I am making, of course, is that this photo is about a lot of things, but one of its defining features is its heterosexuality. It's offering us the promise that our first gay first family might actually be a straight one. Honestly, I think that her piece may just be the most insane, stupid thing that I've ever seen on the internet. And if you spend even five minutes on the internet, you know that that's saying something. The truth is, this photo actually does not represent heterosexuality at its immaterial and strategic best, as she says, because it doesn't represent heterosexuality. It is literally a photo of a gay married couple. I've seen some stupid things done in the name of dealing with problematic whiteness in the past. I've seen organizers shut down a women's march in a mostly white area because there were gonna be too many white people there. I've seen a university cancel the vagina monologues because a white lady wrote it. I've seen a college course teach that objectivity is among white mythologies. When someone decides to become super social justice obsessed, does the factual part of their brain just get pushed out? You know, facts like a gay man is actually not a symbol of straightness because he's, you know, gay. And unlike LaFleur's mess of an article, which tries so desperately to use a complicated weave of social justice jargon to make a point that logic won't let her successfully make, that is something that's not hard to understand.